The African Renaissance and Diaspora Network serves as a coordinating body to unite the efforts of individuals and organizations towards a single purpose, which is to unite African nations with people of African descent, wherever they are around the world. The African Union Commission declared the diaspora as the sixth region of Africa. And for that purpose, our work is to make sure that there's a strengthening of ties between Africans inside the continent, the physical continent, and people of African descent. Our work extends to over 80 countries. The African Renaissance and Diaspora Network has been active in, uh, since the 1990s. And this is an organization headquartered in New York who's uh, recognized by the United States government as a 501c3 uh, tax exempt status. And the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network is also recognized by the United Nations system. Uh, the Chancellor of Webster University is co-chair of the Higher Education Initiative of the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network, fostering partnerships between African universities and universities in the United States. There are 17 sustainable development goals that need to be attained by the year 2030. Those goals were adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in the year 2015. So one of the major goals of the Sustainable Development Goals is SDG 5. SDG 5 has as a goal to bridge the gap between women and men. We therefore, as African Renaissance and Diaspora Network, have called on the convening powers of sport and culture in order to help us bridge the gap between women and men. And within that framework, we have a major campaign that we would like you to take part in, which is the red card campaign, a partnership between the United Nations system, FIFA, governments, civil society organizations, Webster University under the leadership of the chancellor of the university and other institutions to give a red card to all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls. You can go to this link in order to sign the pledge to be a part of that movement, that campaign internationally. And the link is www.redcardpledge.com. As part of the Red Card campaign, uh, the African Renaissance and Diaspora Network is organizing a series of virtual summits that focus on some of the 17 sustainable development goals. Uh, the first summit was held uh, last September on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the United Nations uh, General Assembly. The second summit will be on the 11th of February. 11th of February, is the United Nations International Day for Women and Girls in Science. Uh, we have not only the partnership of the government of Costa Rica, the partnership of UN Fund for Population, the partnership of the United Nations Fund for Women, but also international organizations, educational institutions, and we welcome so much the drive, the leadership of Webster University to mobilize the youth to mobilize the student body, to mobilize faculty members, to make sure that we use these summits in order to bring forward uh, the campaign on giving a red card to all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls. In the game of football, football called soccer in the United States, a red card is a very, very serious violation of the rules of the game. And within that framework, once a player gets a red card, they get booted out of the field. So our game is to make sure that by the FIFA World Cup in November 2022, we get one million signatures to say that we want to give a red card to all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls.